So this is going to be another fairly quick Ivy Generator Bryce tutorial and I got this idea from looking at the frequently asked questions on the Ivy Generator website where it said that if you have a problem where your Ivy is greying up the inside of your model you can use the command uh, flip normals then grow it on the outside. So I thought well what happens if I want to grow it on the inside of the model to create some kind of effect like uh, topiary so it can be a very exactly shaped piece of uh, ivy that's growing up on the inside of the model. So let's experiment with that idea. So I'm going to create a model well I'm just going to use a model that I've got. This is one of the Stanford Dragon models so I've brought it into Bryce and it's important to remember when exporting to the ivy generator you only really want the geometry. Any materials there particularly if there were texture materials like you're exporting Vicky's geometry for example it would take a long time to convert so set all the materials you for the objects you're going to export to the default grey and that will speed up the process of exporting so go file export object and it needs to be in this OBJ format so do that and it'll do this little export dialog don't use this instance of Bryce again because exporting seems to make it unstable I have discovered so for the import when you get round to it launch another version of Bryce so we'll go to our IV generator now and use the import command here to import what we've just exported which is this uh, dragon so it'll come up with the error that it can't open the materials but that doesn't matter and then it'll finally bring in the model right mouse button and drag backwards and forwards to move backwards and forwards and left mouse button will allow you to rotate as it's come in at the moment this is the right way out for the normal so if I double click on a point on the model and then grow you can see the ivy creeping up the outside of the model rather slowly so probably going to need it to move a bit faster than that so I'll just stop it growing I'll double click to another location and increase this value here for ivy size to see if that will let it move a bit quicker across the model. So what I do is kind of fill in the head with ivy. So you can see at the moment it's uh, proceeding on the outside so there are lots of ones trailing out off the model and then stopping so we'll stop that, double click on that point again and then use the flip normals to move that to inside the model and now if I grow it didn't grow for very long but I suppose that's a risk of choosing a new point then um, it should fill in the inside of the model if you can get it to work so flip normals again double click on that point flip normals and grow and see if we get a better grow pattern no nope, that's not worked if you have too few goes at this flip normals double click flip normal back on the inside grow is it going? no it's just done one again flip normal you see being on the concave geometry is uh, interfering with its operation but once you get it going it's usually okay right so that's done 13 branches from that position so that's not great so we'll just have to flip the normals again to select on the surface flip the normal again we'll try um, increasing the branch probability so if I lower this value here you get more branches so we'll try growing that now have I, am I inside or outside? inside because you can see the leaves poking through the surface these have obviously escaped from the surface so this is the bit to watch here of what active branches there are once that falls to zero that's it it's game over so that ran for a bit longer but it didn't get very far up into the head so what I'll do is I'll flip normals again select another point reduce this value here to increase the number of branches I'll grow it a bit faster and then that's just the length of the uh, the branches I think so I need to remember to flip the normal so they're inverted and grow again obviously that's another one that's escaped through the surface but here we've got 25 active branches and it's still proceeding inside and uh, these are obviously of the total number of branches that than those of trailed off as a result but they, you should have more activity because if they trail off the surface and then hit the surface again on the inside they can then become active rather than these ones that just come out and, and fail so what I'll do now is I'll pause the video and let this complete because uh, I can't anticipate how long this is going to take to 
to fill in there and it can be quite time consuming so we'll just give this a pause now and then we'll come back to it when this value here has fallen to zero and hopefully that will create a quite a complex model of the inside of this dragon's head okay so that's filled in now uh, I don't know any way of getting a view of what's going on in there other than exporting it before exporting it I'm going to set the leaf probability to 1 which will virtually mean no leaves and remember to press birth otherwise you won't get an export so you can see these things are still clipping the outside of the model but there's something going on in here which is what we want to see so I export that as an as the object so I'll, I'll just call this uh, Ivy on the end there then remembering to launch a new instance of Bryce because uh, the exported one might be a little bit buggy and then I'll go file import object and then try this new object and see what we get so yes it wants the textures for the ivy itself which uh, you can get here if you remember to save that file or if you ignore it you just get the geometry so let's see what we've got hmm we've got some of the dragon's head but not all of it which is uh, is a less successful than I'd hoped you can see we've got the underside of its jaw the back of its head and a horn and a bit of its neck so I could have done with that going on a little bit longer really so back to the ivy generator I'll just have another go at this then so flip normals find the point and I'm going to increase the branch probability so here we go up we need to flip normals again down to stop that growing select point flip normals grow so let's hope it goes on a little bit longer this time because it stopped almost immediately when I was uh, running that test before I'll pause the video again and we'll see what we get as a result hopefully it'll run a bit more into the top of the head here well I strongly suspect I've uh, overcooked this but what I did was I uh, set the growing size down set the probability branch here which to the lowest figures means it's more probable to branch and uh, left it running while I went and did something else and it's sort of filled in quite a lot of the head now but whether this uh, will export look at these values here there's still 251 active branches but I, uh, I stopped it growing by just hitting the grow button so we'll birth it see whether it'll go to that stage okay so that's looking pretty complicated that's inside the model so this is just what's clipping the surface and if I export now right we'll see whether it's going to export or crash I don't know what size the file is going to come out it might even take a while to do the export see what size we're at it's up to 27 megabytes now 47 megabytes 62 99 it's getting larger 135 I don't know what Bryce is going to be able to tolerate that's the other thing any more advances on 135 can't tell whether it's might be it okay we'll see if that'll go into Bryce then file import object and here we are with the file so just check that it's going to take a while to bring this in so I'll just uh, I'll just pause the video there so it looks like it's nearly done almost there and bear in mind since this is a genuine mesh object when it comes in you can use proper instancing with this in Bryce so if, even though it's a massive well by the looks of it thing here we go it's come in then you can add to this by uh, add to the complexity if you seen by instancing this with very little overhead in terms of memory which is useful to know in Bryce not all things can be instances but me instances instance duh, but meshes can so you can see it's uh, conformed quite well to the shape of the dragon's head uh, less so in the nose but in this area here where this horns are then it's uh, it's worked quite well and you see it's uh, monstrously complex in there so probably would be a good thing to use with the Trambian render method for example but that's uh, another story and one thing I would point out is that when you import the model into the Ivy generator it, it does seem to 
at some point either import or export flip the model round because this is the side of the dragon here this is this face so it's become left right reversed when we see it in Bryce so that's just something to be aware of that you're working with a mirror image that's nothing to do with inverting the normals that's just a peculiarity of the import export option in uh, in Bryce or in the Ivy generator I don't know which one's doing the flipping and it doesn't really matter so long as you're aware of it you can compensate for it when you look at your model you might notice when you've brought it into the Ivy generator you're looking at a mirror image of it so place the Ivy where you want it on the appropriate side according to that mirror image right so there you go that's the uh, the end of this experiment tutorial uh, just something to try in the Ivy generator and work with Bryce and I'm quite surprised to see quite how well Bryce was able to cope with such a large file when there's an object file here at uh, 135 meg then that's quite a lot for Bryce uh, but as I say once you've got this in you can see it's rendering quite nicely I'll just pause it there to show you where you can go this is the overhead view uh, file no edit I want to go edit and if that if that's in a group you can't instance it and it's probably got one or two leaves hidden in there I think you can see them in the mesh there so if you get this you get the leaves selected and delete them then that'll just be the the roots that is now selectable so if you select the roots or the, the stems and go edit instance you can instantly get an instance of that and uh, in terms of memory usage it's very low so if you were to create a shape and move it round a bit and then it wasn't quite recognizable as the same shape instanced again then you can make what looks like a very complex scene with uh, with a minimum memory overhead so i just thought i'd point that out right that's the end of the video